Okay, we're being live streamed and I think we're being recorded. Yes, we're being recorded and we're all going here. This is a very simple show that I do. I just simply tell uh, Zoom, uh, put this up on uh, Facebook and it puts it up on Facebook. And I just, all I have to do is start the whole thing and we're off and running. And let's see here, we got a whole bunch of people off and running today. Let's admit them all. Um, there's Scott Boddicker, and there's Lynn, and there's Charlie Wallace, and we have somebody here named Barbara. Uh, I don't know if maybe that's just not one. Of, oh, well, hello, Barbara. How are you? Turn on your audio. You're supposed to click your audio. Uh, let me let me see here. Let me tell her. Uh, there we go. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Hi, Alex. Wait a minute, connecting to audio, it says. I did that. Well, okay, it is connected to audio. It says connecting to audio. Can, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Uh, uh, hear who? Len? Oh, uh, Len? Oh, uh, yeah. wait a minute. Is that you, Len? I'm Barbara? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we have a lot. Barbara's here, too. That's my wife. Well, how, here. Come, how come your microphone isn't on? Ask to unmute. You're muted. Huh. Really? Yes, and when, I, when I go ask to unmute, it won't unmute you. Oh boy, there's too much of us. I don't want. Oh, what happened here? Uh, I've got uh, too much of a. I've got the whole screen is up here, and I don't want the whole screen. Uh, all of a sudden, I click the whole screen. Technology. Let me see here. Oh, maybe maybe if I go. There we go. If I double click it, it goes back to that. Okay. All huh? right. Wait, wait uh, Some stuff's got to be turned down. Some audio is playing or some noise in the background. Well, we're, we're at the airport in uh, Las Vegas. Oh, you're in the airport in Las Vegas. Yeah. <laughs> PA system yeah so we'll stay on mute most of the time but I brought my wife with me today so okay. I'll say hi to Barbara hello Barbara how are you you're using you're, what you're doing is you're you you're using her zoom no I'll tell you you know what you should do you should mute. yeah we'll get on one yeah. oh oh uh, oh you're you're there okay uh, oh okay. Wait a minute. This is I'm getting confused. I'm getting <laughs> wait a minute. There's there's Lynn. Okay. Uh, she got and, off of hers. Okay. And here comes, here comes Marjorie. There you go. Uh, here comes Marjorie. Is that better? All right. Yeah. Okay. Anyway. Sorry about that. Why don't you turn your camera sideways, Lynn? Let's see if we can get you in in. Yeah, there we go. That's a much better mode than you both fit in there better. Yeah. Uh, hello to everybody. Some of our usual crowd here. Hopefully, we'll be joining a few more as the yeah. hour goes on. Uh, uh, we have, of course, uh, Len Lafrisco and his lovely wife, Barbara. We have Edward Berger. That's right. Okay, yeah. My, uh, <laughs> my Valentine's Day hat and my glasses. Hey, aren't you festive? Yeah. Um, okay, when, uh, Alex, why do we have a Wait a minute, hold on a second. Len, <laughs> yeah. when we're not, when you're not talking to me, I'm going to go mute. Mute, yeah, because there's too much, you know, too many announcements being made and things like that. Uh, hello to Charlie Wallace. How are you today, Charlie? Doing great. Beautiful day here. And uh, the lovely and attractive Rick Sheckman. How is your day going? Good. I hate these days when you, and Marjorie's here, when you look out the window and it's a beautiful spring day. Except yesterday. Except when you look at the temperature, it's 19 degrees. <laughs> Yeah, with the wind chill, with the wind chill, because I went out this morning, it was zero. Mm. Zero wind chill. Oh, here comes Steve Bender. Hold on it, a second. It felt let me, like zero. And let me admit Steve Bender. Uh, and uh, 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 Steve, we were just talking about the fact that today was just an absolutely spring-like day if you looked <laughs> out at it. 
Yeah, and if you, not if you went out in it. If you went out in it, you freeze your. It's very cold. Yes. Which I did. Yeah. Yeah, no, I did too. I went swimming this morning, so. Oh. Uh. I had a doctor's appointment. And that because was it was so up. cold, in true romantic fashion, because today is Valentine's Day. Okay. 59 degrees here. Yeah. Because today is Valentine's Day, I made a romantic gesture. I called Instacart, went online to Instacart and uh, ordered from Costco and made sure I ordered flowers. Oh. So Marjorie has flowers. They are the worst flowers I've ever seen, Marjorie. But they're dying. They're One dying. is totally good. I uh, uh, Alex, do you remember when you did a commercial for plant and for flowers and you got me flowers? And yeah, flowers. Dot, what was it? Flowers. 1-800-Flowers.com. 1-800-Flowers. Flowers. And they sent me flowers to show me how great their flowers were. And they were all dead. They were all dead. <laughs> And I finally went to my uh, my guys, my salespeople. I said, I can't do ads for them. And they said, why not? I said, I can't say how wonderful they are when the ones they sent me were dead. You know, how many other people are going to get their flowers that way? And I'm always very careful about, you know, that sort of thing. Hey, we're being joined today by somebody we haven't seen hey. in a couple of weeks. Uh, Andrew Deutsch. Hello, Andrew. Yay. Hey. Hello, hello, hello. Good to have you here. Um, just, just, just briefly. Thought now, I'd... let me let me tell you about something that happened the other day. I, I went out to see Shecky, which is no mean feat because I have to go to the... Well, we enjoyed the pad thai. Yeah, we go out to a restaurant and yeah, they have the pad thai. They have great pad thai, just terrific. Uh, and I, I'd never had pad thai till you took me to that restaurant. Marjorie, what is it, what is it exactly, Shecky? It's a noodle dish yeah. with peanuts and whatever protein you want, and a little bit of I don't know if I want to call it candy, but some kind of sauce that makes it candy like. Yeah, and it's really good. It's really good. And then you order pork, beef, or whatever. Yeah, I had beef, you had pork. Yeah. And uh, and it's it's really wonderful. And uh, I'd never had it before. I Shecky took me to this place. And now every time we go there, I order it. Um, and then I complain about how fattening it is. And he says, hey, look how old you are. Enjoy yourself. And I go, yeah, I guess I'm not going to get laid. So I don't need to lose weight. So, you know, except by your wife, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. But I don't want to be I don't want to be a slob for her. <laughs> But, you know, it's kind of hard not to be a slob at this age because everything that should be going up goes down now. Yeah, and some of the things that don't go up don't go up. But, you know, so, I mean, it, it's a, it, a whole bunch of uh, things. But anyway, uh, and we're being joined now by the Darla of our gang. Uh, Mandy is going to join us here as soon as she's connecting her audio and gets her picture going. Um but anyway, I went out to Shecky's, uh, and um, it, I, I take the uh, take a, a, a lift. Well, the, the F 90, train eventually. I, yeah, I take a lift to the 96th Street to station. Take the Q, is it? Yeah, is, I guess. Is I don't train even know. Down to 63rd, then I get on the F, and I go out to Queens. And when I finally get there, Shecky comes picks me up down the down the street. And then we drive up to his place or we go to the place to eat or whatever we're going to do for the day. And uh, then at the end of the this wonderful get together, Shecky then piles me into the car and we go down back down to where he picked me up. And I get out thanking him profusely for a wonderful time. And I leave. Well, this time. I went and I, you, what, how do you call that, that, uh, that door opener you have is kind of a lever that you pull out, you know, most well, the have the car. door handle, door handle, but they're different on most cars. Some cars have push buttons. They have a lot of other things too. This one is you pull on it. Okay. And then the door opens. I pull on it and the thing comes off in my hand. <laughs> Now I feel bad about this because this car is 25 years old and I don't want to be, I know it. certain things have tried to destroy it. It looks like it's been hit a couple of times, you know, 
and maybe a bumper fell off or something. So you taped it on and whatever else. Right. But I don't want to be the one that breaks the car. Right. And I bro, I'm holding this up and saying, look what I have here, Shaggy. <laughs> and there was no way to get it open without that little thing. Right? And I admit, I did say a couple of words. You know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I and because he said a couple of words, I felt extremely guilty. Like it was, <laughs> it was my fault. My fault. It, it, it was the fault of 25 years of plastic fatigue. Right. I mean, who, whoever, who, whoever opened it next, that would have happened, right? If, if, if Tony had come over and Shecky had taken him home, then it would have broken in... Tony, his hand, hand. which Is I wish it had, because though? then Shecky would have another story to tell me about Tony, <laughs> you know. So anyway, it it um, uh, I I I wrote him a note profusely saying saying it's well. Not Alex said I'll pay half the cost of fixing it, which I knew was five hundred dollars for a piece of crappy plastic. Yeah, yeah. And and um, uh, then Shecky wrote me and said the uh, two words super glue. Yeah, no, because <laughs> after I left you, I took the piece out because I put it in this little thing in the middle of the car. And then I took it out and it's like, oh, fits perfectly. Yeah, no, I mean, it's, it, if it will super glue hold it, I guess it will. And if not, as I said, now you'll be sitting in the back seat. Or I'll just come out as the chauffeur and open the car door for you. It's not, a, you know, it's the way you, I deal with it. Isn't it interesting that this car is 25 years old and the only thing that really ever went badly wrong with it is the door handle? Yeah, because yeah. it's a the, crappy piece of plastic. Yeah. Okay, so, I admit it. So I ordered to pay for uh, Go Havesies on the super glue. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it's fine. And I said to you about an hour ago on the phone, I'm going to wait till it's like 60 degrees in April and I'll deal with it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I just, there was no way. Of, it's funny. There's no way of getting it open. I couldn't just like pull on. No. The and I walked out like the chauffeur yeah. and opened the car door and let him out. I mean, you could kind of push it, but it wouldn't only, it would only go so far because you don't have, it doesn't have the leverage to like maybe it would have i don't know but whatever you know you could probably get like a screwdriver and put it there and do you know but you don't you know whatever no whatever knows. i'm the only person who sits in that seat you or tony or one other friend yeah in, no, so, no, whatever. no ejector seat <laughs> <laughs> that was in the next model up. You know, it was too cheap. To well, I do have the open, the open wind. You know, the um, what do you call it? The moon roof. So yeah, oh. I, he could have climbed out the moon roof if I opened it. Oh, okay, all right. So, so <laughs> anyway, that's that, 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 that. Hold on a second. Let me just do this so I can see you guys. Make sure it's all working okay. Wait a minute. That's not it. Wait a minute. This is it. Okay, this is where I gotta go. And uh, blah, 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 blah. let me see if it's working. Okay. Yeah, there it is. Okay. Right. But okay. yeah, whatever. We love the pad tie at the tie plate. Yeah, and we had a nice time. I tried to fix his computer, but boy, they don't make it easy on on on. What it was is we Windows. Wanted, we wanted to change the boot disk on Windows. On my Mac, all I do is go to something, say what I want is the boot disk. It gives me a choice of disks, and I say, okay, I want to use this as a boot disk. Uh, he wants to use his old boot disk. And nope. I, 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 I'm reading stuff, and it's saying uh, go into the administrative thing and then tell F2, this. F2, F12, uh, do this. Write do this, write that. Yeah, there's no simple little thing that says, okay, what do you want to use as a boot disk? Here are two disks that are available to you right now. So couldn't do that. So. that yeah. was our, yeah. that's, you know what happened? When I used to do radio programs, um, my, my shows were all about my life. And I'd always have something interesting going on. I would, I would make a mental note of anything that went on during the day. If I went to the dentist, I would talk about the dentist. And if I had something, I met up with somebody, you know, whatever. 
nothing happens in my life anymore. So I've got nothing to talk about. So this was exciting. The door yes, handle fascinating, breaking. Fascinating afternoon. I mean, already I turned. Guy, the door broke and whatever. Al already I turned it into a 15 minute story. Yeah. 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 You know, there we go. And best part is he brought me out the screener of West Side Story, which I still haven't watched. Oh, you haven't watched it yet? Oh. No. Okay. Well, watch it before it's on Disney. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's on Disney, what, in two weeks or something? Yeah, I think in two weeks. Yeah. 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 Also, he and I have been watching Hot in Cleveland. That's the only thing we have to talk about. Yeah, well, I said during the Super Bowl, I was so bored in the second quarter. Oh, I'll go watch an episode of Hot in Cleveland. Well, I've gotten through... Let's see here. I'm in the I'm in the middle of the fifth season. No, no the fourth. Well, I'm in season three, I think. I mean, Not that I'm, anyone here cares. I'm in the fourth season, and every season is 24 episodes. So I'm about a hundred, uh, uh, about uh, 80, 90 episodes. Alex, in. and you gave me so much shit for watching that Turkish soap opera. Yes, <laughs> and I can. Will con oh. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh. I will continue to give you crap about the Turkish soap, soap opera for two reasons, for two reasons. It's Turkish and it's a soap opera, okay? Well, someone sent me a link, which if you want, Marjorie, I'll send you to one of those $7.99 a month channels that has like more than a thousand foreign things like the Turkish soap opera. They do a lot of them, no, I... It, it, no, don't worry. Don't worry. Net, net, uh, Netflix will do enough of that already, you know. <laughs> but I mean, God, you know. It's, it's, but I, I know. I this is a this is a very good, maybe one of the best um, uh, sitcoms ever done. You know, and Alex knows why I have a certain thing about that show. Because somebody you know produced it. Yes. Not somebody you dislike. No, I don't dislike her. Yeah, but just... she when we did it again for this little group, we did a remote around 85 86 at the toy factory, you know, the toy show. Yeah, and she was their head of PR. And show. one of our writers picked her up and has been married to her for 35 years now, or whatever. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. It's always to me, like, well, she was the girl who worked at the toy factory, yeah, you know, the toy but, show. So he didn't want to like this. Uh, yeah, that's that check but it for is you. a laugh out loud show i he, will admit he holds weird grudges but he holds grudges nonetheless. but she's a very nice woman so. yeah on, on top of that yeah but anyway so uh but it is one i think one of the best sitcoms ever done i, I it's really brilliant and uh, uh, huh if you if you want to know the temperature in cleveland just give me a call it's 20 degrees it's oh yes hot. you're you're hot in cleveland aren't you or cold in cleveland <laughs> It says 20 on my throat or here. Yeah, okay, you're cold. I forgot you're in Cleveland. Yeah. Uh, but I mean, it's a really great show. And uh, but uh, and so Shecky and I have been watching it. And we're but they have a very good team of writers, producers, you know, whatever you want to call yeah. it. The only thing that's driving me nuts is every episode I have to hear bum, 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 bum. No, actually, for oh, me, it's oh, the guitar oh. going into our and out of commercials. What? There's always a guitar riff oh, going I, into I, and out I, of that, commercials. I, that I didn't notice. Yeah. You know, and you can watch Betty White getting older because as she gets older, she's sitting more in the show. You know, the woman was ninety. She had yeah. her, she celebrated oh. her ninetieth birthday on this show. You know, they even should. Have you gotten to it yet? Yeah. Yeah. I saw that one. Yeah. They even show her them giving her a cake and everything like that. But there were she turned 90 on the show and then she also turned 90 90 in real life, in real life. And uh, yeah. you know, and I've I, said I and maybe I probably have said this before. She's one of the first people ever on television in 1939. Yep. Yep. Absolutely. Now, Mandy is here today, and we can now play a new game called What's Mandy Doing? <laughs> What's Mandy doing? Well, I was at the bank. I had to go back to the bank. But when I got back from the bank, I looked at, I had two deposits. I looked at the receipt. They put the two checks in the same account. 
No. <laughs> and go in and have them fix it. But yeah. Was this business? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh boy. That was annoying, but yeah. Marjorie has that problem every now and then with her accounts where she's got a, she calls the bank and it takes forever online to the bank. You know, yeah. I mean, they prove it. Like I was in the drive through. It'll be just a few moments while someone approves these. And okay. I saw by like at least five minutes, you know, kind mm -hmm. of getting approved and they still, a mistake still went through. I, I don't understand it. Marjorie, Marjorie, I'll hear Marjorie here on the phone with like, I don't know, HSBC or somebody like that. For the office. And it takes forever. I mean, yeah. Well, yeah, you should go, you should call a bank and they should pick up immediately. After all, they're using your money. I know. You know. Yeah. Yeah, but they don't have any people working there anymore. That's true too. Do you remember? Do you remember there was a time where if you went out and I think it was you used the uh, the uh, the ATM, they would charge you for it, and you had to go inside to have them not charge you to do all that stuff. Then one day they didn't charge you anymore for the ATM, but now they don't want you to go in and talk to anybody inside the bank. Yeah. So I, I, I go in there occasionally and I like and I have these old travelers checks uh, from the Civil War. And uh, I'm, you know, I might ha I have to cash. I still have some left. I have to get them cash. They're always good, especially the ones that say Bank of America on them. And I do it at Bank of America. But when I get these things and hand it to them, they have to ask somebody, what do we do with these things? <laughs> You know, so I mean, uh, it's uh, it it's not it's not easy calling and getting things done and so on and so. On. Well, again, remember the days of travelers' checks. If you went out of the United States, you had to have quote travelers' check. Yeah, and and now what? You just go to an ATM, right? Here's you my credit. Here's my credit card. Or, or or you go to an ATM, use your ATM card, and get the coin of the realm there. You know, yeah, your euros or whatever they might be in that. I had a problem though when we went to Europe and Marjorie was like uh, limping around, and we had to. Go, I had to go to a bank to get some money because she had to go see a doctor, and I uh, simply went in to use my ATM, and I had like a seven-digit number I used. No, you need a four-digit number. Well, in I foreign. couldn't get it because they only wanted a four-digit number, and I didn't have a four-digit number. So, guess what? The first thing was I did when I came back. I went to no, a four-digit four number. number now. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, I, I I'm sitting there trying to get money, and I I can't get it, and I uh, the bank is closed. Okay, so I can't go into the bank. Oh, it was horrible. And plus, then I had also Marjorie it was limping and struggling and trying to survive and i brought her home a wheelchair yeah well it was either that or shooter yeah. <laughs> i chose to keep her uh anyway uh we're, we're are we losing oh, lynn God. too now we lost we lost uh, uh andrew huh andrew yeah. Uh, but he he was in a car. Yeah, there there there's Lynn. How how's your how how long till your flight takes off, uh, Lynn? Well, it, we just got the uh, word that it's going to be. Oops, I dropped you. It's going to be an extra hour. So an three, extra. Four, hour. Uh, okay. Supposed to be two thirty now. It's three. Okay, so you're in Vegas, right? Yep. yep. Why didn't you know? Why didn't you just drive there? Twelve hours. Twelve hours. Ten hours. Twelve. Yeah, it's about 10 or 12 hours. I'm trying to think. I guess uh, maybe it is. Yeah. yeah. It's an hour, you know, every hour of flight is about a day of driving. Well, wait, uh, Shecky, how long did it take us to go from the Bay Area to Vegas? Five hours, maybe? No, Six no, more, hours? Than that, more than that. I know. How, okay. how fast were you driving, Shecky? <laughs> oh, Alex is driving. About 600 miles, I think. Leadfoot Bennett. <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Oh, I've drove all the way across the United States with Shecky. 
And sometimes he was in the car with me. <laughs> yes, yeah, so Alex is like, Shecky, would you narrate while we're doing the scenery? And it's like, I got nothing to say. <laughs> Yeah, I, I I had got no video of that whole trip because all I could oh, do. Oh no, you have video. Yeah, some, you know, but uh, then we uh, we made a few nice stops. We went to Monument Valley, you know. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, I had about uh, twenty five thousand dollars worth of equipment in the back of this SUV we were driving, or whatever that was. And when we got to Monument Valley, the road was so rough. Oh, it's no road, down. basically. Yeah. yeah I and I didn't that. want to take a chance of rattling all this equipment on that kind of road. So you always you always argued with me. We you have to bring me back here, you know. And Marjorie tells me I always have to bring her back to where are we supposed to take you back to because you were incapable of walking. Um Sienna. Sorrento. Yes. Sienna. Yeah. No, I think it was Sienna. Yeah. It was. And then we went to what was that big town we were in where all the art came from? Um, Florence. I, Florence. And I couldn't see Florence because I was too busy taking care of her. You weren't taking care of me. You were just sitting with me. Yeah, but I wasn't going to leave you and go see Florence <laughs> without you. Isn't that sweet? Thank Florence you. Florence was an ex-girlfriend of mine. She didn't want to go. <laughs> yeah, but Ben, let's let's not forget. In Memphis, we got to see Danny Thomas's um, table. Table. The sculpture of whatever the hell he had behind his dining room. I want to know what he had in front of his uh, table. Well, well there was a, there was a coffee table, but that's another story. <laughs> was there a coffee table? A no, coffee table? no, no. no. I'll tell, I will tell you a story, though. I have an old friend who uh, who worked for, for Danny Thomas on a show that Danny Thomas did where he was a doctor, I think. It was like the last... That was, one, that was the practice, I think it was yeah, called. Yeah, the practice. And she was writing for it, and uh, she was called into his office to meet with him. And she walks in, and he's not there, so she sits on the couch, and right in front of her is a glass coffee table. Oh, <laughs> And she's going, I wonder if. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there was a rumor that, uh, oh, how can we just, how can we say this? Mr. Story? Thomas enjoyed <laughs> certain peccadillas, possibly. Certain peccadillas where he would lie under the glass coffee table while a woman of, let's say, welcomed repute. A woman uh, well paid, let's yes, call it. Uh, <laughs> Uh, how, I guess I can say this without getting, I'm trying to do it so that there are no key words that will demonetize me, but he defecated, he would hire the hooker to defecate on the table while he sat under it. That's the rumor. Supposedly. It's a legend. It's a legend. You know, which, you know, if that's what. If that's what he liked, I don't care. Yeah. Yeah, make room for daddy. And I have no idea where that legend came from, by the way. Well, you know, I got to tell you, uh, I think you and I were talking the other day about gossip. And and really, yeah, we sometimes the most true things you will hear are gossip. You know, it starts somewhere for a good reason. Now, what But again, if this is what the gentleman enjoyed, I don't care. I don't. Who am I to argue? Who am I to argue? You know, um, we all have. Hurt me. Huh? What? Doesn't hurt me. Doesn't hurt you. And no, the, the hooker was not, getting paid, you know. It's not my thing. If that were his thing. But we were we, where we were in in uh, what was it Memphis was the Memphis. St. Jude's St. Jude's Hospital. St. Jude's. Yes. And I got to tell you something of all the charities out there. That's the oh, one. I give money to them, actually. Yeah. Yeah, that's the one I really admire, you know, because I think ninety nine percent of your donation actually goes to help the children. They yeah. help. And they put up the parents in a hotel and feed them. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, no, I do give money to St. Jude's. Yeah. Like the Bowery Mission, which I always mention. Yeah. And, you uh, know, and not have, the United and, Health, you know, those other Red Cross. And Danny I, Thomas is entombed there. That's where he in the hospital? But not in the hospital. Oh. But there's some <laughs> grounds up, up on the hospital, Scott. Oh. Okay. That, you uh, know, so whatever, Danny Thomas did good work. Yeah. Okay. He did good work. So he was entitled to a good time. He wanted to be a, a colonoscopy doctor, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you call him. Uh, yeah. How's the uh, weather out there in Texas, Scott? Well, it's warmer outside than it is inside. It's 72 outside. It's 72 outside? Yeah, I got my, do got my door open to get some heat in here. Wow. Wow, it's it's been it was how 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 cold was it this morning, Marjorie, when you went out? It was it was nineteen, but with the wind chill, it was zero. Mm -hmm. But again, on Saturday it was fifty five, and it's yeah. going to be it's going to be sixty on Thursday. Is it yeah. really? Yeah. yeah, yeah. It was a really it it just looks gorgeous. I mean, if I showed you out the window here, it's not a cloud. Gorgeous. Yeah, you know, and all the snow that was on the trees at my window, all gone. It's all oh gone. yeah. And, and the snow yesterday, it didn't, it didn't accumulate. There's nothing to shovel. Let's no, but it, it didn't accumulate on the ground here. Because it the just day accumulated before. on the branches of the empty trees, and it looked yeah, and on great. my grass. On it, my was, grass. it was it was really pretty. We were in Central Park yesterday at around five thirty, and it was just beautiful because the yeah. snow was on the empty, yeah. uh, the leaveless trees. Yeah. yeah, no, it was beautiful. Yeah, but my driveway never had an ounce of quote snow on it. No, there was right. nothing in the street or on the sidewalk at all. Wasn't that supposed to be a blizzard? Yeah. Uh, yeah, another El Blizzardo. We we haven't had any. We, have you had any real? We had the one two weeks ago. Yeah, we had that it was one. A little day. bit of a snowstorm. Yeah, we had that yeah. one. Day. But and did you have a lot of uh, a lot of um, what do you call it? Oh, snow accumulation. <laughs> snow. I can remember the word. I'm, I was looking for the word accumulation. No, that day I hit about eight inches. But with as you saw when you came out the other day, gone. Mm -hmm. This makes me look fat. Oh. <laughs> really not, folks. See, I'm thinner than I look. This oh, thing. Stop it. Marjorie bought this for me. I like it. I... It's really nice. Hers burned. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Explain how it burned, Marjorie. It was near the oven, near the stove top. <laughs> You know, it, it's interesting. I look over here to see how many people are watching the show, and it's almost no nobody. Okay, <laughs> by the end of a week, the amount of people that watch the replay is incredible. Mm. I mean, uh, between all the various well, things about they have even, no lives. Then. Yeah, I was going to say <laughs> they have a lot of time on their hands. <laughs> no, but about eight hundred people. <laughs> Uh, watch the show last week what on various formats. What does that, that say about us? Huh? Yeah, what what does that say about, about us? <laughs> well, it says that this is this is this is the most popular show we do at Gabnet by by a mile. Wow, you know. So, and it's it, it, it's it's a uh, um, a, a tribute to you people. You know. Well, because we don't check. talk about Mr. Trump, Mr. Giuliani. Mr. Well, now there you go. There you go. Now you ruined it. Now you ruined it. We had a perfect. We had a perfect score, and then you said those. No, I said we don't talk about them. Okay, about who? No, don't say it. Don't say it. Um. God, I. By, by the way, uh. uh I'm, are you getting all tired of hearing about the Ukraine? I'm tired of hearing about, and this will be against Marjorie, that 15-year-old, um, what is she, a skater in Russia who's on drugs? <laughs> <laughs> She's doping, yeah. Well, no, no, and let's be fair, right? Performance-enhancing. No, she, they found she was taking a performance-enhancing drug back in December. Okay, since then she has been tested two times 
and and the most recent i think was at the olympics and she's so shown up with no drug in her body all right because they do it in advance yeah no no but once you don't have the drug in your body anymore it's not going to do what it's supposed to do it's already done it do you think it's already done it this is a drug that adds stamina okay so if you took it two months ago would you still have stamina from it today is the question but here's what they're doing somebody mentioned it's kind of like the uh, yes mandy I was just going to say, if she was taking it while she was practicing and built up, like had stamina to practice, I mean, that could make it kind of a. Yeah, but how would it affect her performance today at the well, Olympics? Would have gotten her into the Olympics, maybe, or yeah. whatever. As her I'm, I'm just yeah. shocked, but I'm just shocked that a Russian athlete would do such a thing. <laughs> <laughs> well, isn't it interesting that the Russians got uh, eliminated from the how? Well, how long can't they be in the Olympics? Been, yeah, but they have the phony name. Now. Oh wait, a, wait a minute. So, but they the were allowed to create the Russian Olympic team committee. 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 Yeah. committee, Russian Olympic committee team, and they could compete. So that's that's very nice. Okay, but somehow these people also dope. You know, I mean, it's, how many are they going to have to come up with a new name and let those people in? But didn't they say they won't give her a medal even if she wins? Well, no, here's here's what what they've decided. She can compete. OK, if she wins a gold medal, so be it. But they won't give it to her until the investigation is over. And Which will be a phony will, investigation. Well, nobody else in that category who That's wins true. silver and bronze is, is going to get a, a medal either. And there are several other events that fall in this category. So it's kind mm. of like, well, Bobby didn't do his homework, so the whole class has to stay after school. Yep. You know, it's that kind of thing. And, and really, the other people should get the medals that they get. But if she's eliminated, then they move them all up and give out a bronze to somebody, you know. But it's it's um, it, it, this Olympics is it, it's beautifully done. The Russians did a just a bang, don't you think, Marjorie? A bang up job of creating venues. The Chinese. The Chinese, rather. They, what did I say? Russian. The Russians. Russian. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, them too. I'm an old man. Leave me alone. Anyway. <laughs> Uh, but uh, it was it 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 looks beautiful, it looks gorgeous. But well, I mean, they got a lot of money. Yeah, Except but it's it's fraught the with a, in the background. Well, <laughs> it's fraught with a lot of horrible stuff. I mean, like you know, uh, uh, reporters being arrested and sent home for going out of the bubble. Going out of the bubble. Uh, but I mean, the reporters there say it. It just feels very uh restricted it feels like when we went to china you wouldn't know that it was a communist country it was so free and wonderful and supposedly all that has changed now you know um i i, I would love to go back to china but not now not right now you know like last night after that boring super bowl i flipped over for a moment oh it's time for luge you know like i couldn't care less <laughs> Yeah, yeah. And I like luge, by the way. Well, I, I like the skeleton uh, because that's the kind of thing I probably could do because all you're doing is lying on your back. Well, your feet direct it. <laughs> yeah. Well, well, okay, so you have to direct your feet, okay? Of course, you have to go down that thing. It's kind of scary. But, you know, that was NBC yesterday. It's time for the Olympics one more time. But we sent Mike Tirico back from Beijing to host the Super Bowl. Right. And then and I'll make the... you bet he's back there today. In no, he's prob no, he's probably back up in uh, in uh, they sent him to Connecticut. No, no, no. He was in Beijing. Well, he was in Beijing. They then sent him back. They had him do a lot of his stuff for Beijing from Connecticut. And then they sent him out to the Super Bowl. So now he's maybe he's back in Connecticut, you know. I mean, why send him back to Beijing? You only got a less than a week left of this, you know. And then we'll get our TV shows back if we care. You know what? That's the thing that bothers me. Oh. Okay. 
why do they all our favorite TV shows? Uh, all the networks do this. Yeah, mm-hmm. they don't run any new shows during the super during the on Super Bowl Sunday. They mm-hmm. don't run any, and during the Olympics, they don't run any. Well, what about us people who aren't watching the Olympics and didn't want to watch the Super Bowl? Yeah, well, but billions yeah. ran last night. And around the world in 80 days ran last night, and all creatures great and small ran. 1883 ran last night, you know. Um, but it, but the networks aren't running anything, right? No, right. they won't compete. Yeah, and that's ridiculous, you know. And no one's watching the Olympics except Marjorie. Now I did watch a little bit of the uh, of the halftime. Oh, what a piece of, you know what? I thought it was very good. I thought it was I like it. in the middle of the show, <coughs> Super Bowl for white men. Are they running a show for black men? Well, well all I'm saying is, that, and, and will you agree with me, Charlie? I'm not a big fan of hip hop and that stuff. Oh, I I, what, I, what I watched, I thought was very well done and very musical and really good. I think I think it's the best halftime Super Bowl thing they've done in years. Right. And given uh, the percentage of the music industry that goes to hip hop, which is, you know, the majority of it right now, it was perfectly appropriate. It was a, it was a good show. They were thought that they was really well done. Yeah. Yeah, but it should have been 10 minutes and let's get back to the ball game. It's always 17 it's minutes. Always, yeah. Okay, 17 minutes. Come on, you got to take a Remember the break. days when maybe it was Michael Jackson or whatever performer and 5,000 people would run onto the stage, all paid, to stand there cheering. Yeah. Did Eminem, did Eminem get in trouble for taking a knee? They told him not to do it. Did he Who take cares? a knee? He did. He took a knee. Yeah, he took he a knee. He took a knee, but he didn't get in trouble because the NFL said they knew he was going to do it because he did it in practice. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. They warned them not to do it, I had read. Yeah, they did. But But again, why do I care? Well, the only people that care about the Super Bowl are the people who are betting on it. Let's be honest. I mean, that the whole... And by the way, I am so sick of ads for these these betting ads. I mean, how terrible is that? I mean, families' yeah. lives and, are going to be ruined. If you think you have a problem, here's a number to call. Oh, yeah. If you have a fine problem, print at the bottom. Well, it, no, yeah. Yeah. What it says yeah. is, what it says is, if you have a betting problem, call this number. Bet you won't. <laughs> <laughs> and I think Cincinnati won the bet because they only lost by three points. Yeah, mm-hmm. I won 50 yeah. bucks on that deal. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Because well, I think it was three and a half or four points for the Rams or whatever, you know. Yeah. Well, I was rooting for the Bengals only because a friend of mine was rooting for the Bengals. Otherwise, I don't care, you know. And it was almost the 49ers this year, yeah. which would be my hometown team. So I would have somebody to root for. But I, I don't care. I don't. You don't even understand the game. I don't right? understand how the game is played. I, I say this over and over again. I, I, I have, I have a Bengali friend who wants the team to change their name. Finds it offensive. <laughs> <laughs> or did you see there was that interception that the Bengals caught in the end zone, and some guy who's ineligible to play runs onto the field yeah. to hug people. Penalty got a penalty for it. Yeah. Oh, they got a 15 yard penalty. So he will not be on that team next year. Nope. You know? Oh, boy. No, oh, I, I, I don't understand how the game is played. So it's very hard for me to watch it. Do you do you watch it, Mandy? I want to know if. Uh, it, it, do yeah. you watch it? Huh? Like, since I was a little girl and then. Of course, I was married to a football player or played in high school and Mm -hmm. my daughter, I cheered, my daughter cheered. So I understand it. Were you a cheerleader? I was. (laughs) (laughs) Do you remember your school cheer? Huh? Do you remember one of your school cheers? Um, I I, I, just say no. (laughs) <laughs> <laughs> just say no. 
You know you what do. Alex is, what, what Alex is asking is, do you still have your uniform? No. <laughs> 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 oh boy i was just i was just asking if she knows one of her old chairs maybe she can she doesn't have to get up and do it she could just kind of go through the go song. team go yeah go so big red we were, our colors were red white and blue oh okay yeah all right How you doing? really well like the strategies and all that stuff is when i now he cheered. was your husband was a football player Mm -hmm. Yeah. In the same high school? No, he grew up in North Carolina and I grew oh, up here. Okay. I, I just wondered if this was like the cheerleader hooking up with the uh with the uh, guy and the quarterback. The player. No, played um but said that so he's a fan. So yeah. I've always always been a fan, a Falcons fan, Atlanta Falcons. And oh good. Oh yeah. But I've kind of lost interest the last few years, but I did I did watch some. Why have you lost interest? Mainly because it's just not on. It's just not on TV when I'm walking through my house. <laughs> oh, okay. So I, I oh, when, when you were married, it was always on. <coughs> yeah. And when you stopped being married, it wasn't on any longer. Right. right. But I did I, bowl games. I watched like UGA when they went to the championship. Of course, I watched that game. My daughter's senior there. I mean, mm -hmm. that was exciting. So. Yeah. yeah. You say you don't even understand the game. Well, that's a funny part about it. I he doesn't know basketball either. No, no, oh. bas basketball I can understand. I mean, it's pretty simple to figure out what's going on there. You yeah. haven't okay. quite grasped it yet, Alex. Well, you're supposed to run till you can get a basket, you know, yeah. and dribble the thing all the way. All right. Yeah. No, they don't dribble anymore. They stand 20 yards away and throw the ball for a three point. Oddly enough, yeah. I, I, I like the three points. I understand the real football, which is soccer. I yeah. understand soccer. Uh, yeah. Uh, but, how are you on uh, baseball? <laughs> and I've had major <laughs> football players come to my studio and try to explain football to me. And we're doing fine until they go, well, then you got to get your first down. <laughs> It's not that, and not that and I go, what the hell is a down? And then they, they used a bunch of other technical terms before it was through. I couldn't understand it. And maybe there's something in my brain that just doesn't want to understand it. S.J. LaPointe, who is this? Well, let's hey, look Hall of Famer Jerry Rice can't explain it to you. You're hopeless. Yeah, Jerry Rice was on my show trying to explain it to me, and I he didn't. He couldn't do it either. S.J. LaPointe, is that anybody we know? If no, they don't, if they don't, don't make it. suddenly get, uh, 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 well, let me rem uh, put remove them. Okay. And then once again, explain cricket to me. <laughs> yeah, that's what I don't understand. I understand cricket. There's a great movie called Lagan, which is a uh, Indian movie that is all about uh, Lagan was a tax that the British gave on a village, for instance. And one year they made it really high in this storyline. And the, the people there said, well, we'll play for it. If we can win, you'll not have, we won't have to pay the Ligon. And if we lose, you get double the Ligon. But they don't know how to play it. So this is all about them learning how to play cricket. And in the, in the process, as you're watching the film, you, you're kind of understanding in between the musical numbers, what uh, the uh, uh, how the game is played, and I learned how cricket was played by watching that movie. Can't remember much of it now, but I, I did uh, did get what it was all about, and and realized why it still is what I always thought it was the most boring game ever invented. Okay, uh, but but uh, the British love it. Yep. The, the, yes, they do. And and I watched it one day trying to figure out what they like about it, right? And I'm watching it, and I'm watching it. And all of a sudden, at one point, about four hours in, they go, well, we're going to continue it tomorrow. What? <laughs> they like yeah, it five, because, five they like it because later, it it's still going on. Right, they like it because it becomes a picnic. You go there with your strawberries and your champagne. 
I mean, I lived in London and went with the cricket matches with people, and there was very little looking at the cricket match. I mean, it was it was not, well, baseball is kind of that way. I mean, what I love, go, I love going to a baseball game because the sociability of going to a, a baseball game. Am I right, Shecky? There's a real social. Yeah, but I'm not going to spend twelve dollars to have a beer at the yeah. game. Well, that was then. Uh, this was then. Used to be fifty about. cents back in the sixties when I would go. Yeah, right, when you don't have not a round to drink, so I didn't have a. And a beer. seat, a seat was like a dollar twenty-five or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but yeah. I mean, yeah. and, and baseball, I understand totally. I mean, it's it's a simple game to understand how it's played and what has to be accomplished. But I don't understand with football. I just don't. I don't get it. There's a lot of complex things in baseball. Though. The, no, I don't know. Yes. Okay, explain the infield fly rule to me, Alex. Yeah. Well, they never <laughs> call that anymore. Yes, they do. They call it a lot. Very yeah. rarely. I'll let you been on base and the ball's popped up in the infield. It's the infield fly rules. Wait a minute. Minute. Lent, because if you drop Lent, it, you minute. get the guy out at second because he's 12 yeah, feet yeah. off. No, it's an automatic out because you can't do that. They don't allow you to drop the ball. Yeah. Hold on a second. I did. Len, I saw Len just pass by a a a, a, a what do you call it? A, a, a couple of uh, slot slot machines. machines. Yeah, he's in uh, Las Vegas. Len, Len, can yeah, you hear me? I'm here. I, yeah. I can, yeah. Uh, do you have Do you have money to you could put in one of those slot machines? <laughs> he's leaving I, Las I, Vegas. I, I know. <laughs> Alex wants me to gamble. Yeah, do it for us. Well, no, I don't want you to gamble, Len. Uh, if well, yeah, it, you, uh, I I will spot you the dollar and you do it for me, okay? Come on, Len, win one for the Len. Gipper. Yeah, you Len. do it. A, you do it, and then I, if you lose, uh, let me know your address and I'll send you a dollar. And Len, okay. if you have a gambling problem, let us know. Call one eight hundred gambler. Call one eight hundred. We don't answer the phone. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let me let me get some money out here. How great will this be if you win a okay. million dollars on this? And, and point the camera towards the uh, towards I the will. slot machine when you do it. I'm putting, so. I'm putting in five dollars. You're putting in five dollars. I can't afford five dollars. Okay. Yes, I did. Okay, let's help. see if you can see this. All right, so okay. $5. All right. It was the five. Okay. Playing five credits. Okay, here we go, folks. Here we go. This is for me. Okay. Can't what? It's only one dollar. Here we go. There it goes. There we go. Okay. Okay. All right. And you won nothing. I see. Alex, if you have a gambling problem, we have a number for you. So how much did you put in? How much did you put in there, Len? I put I put five dollars in, and I'm not expecting you to send. Me <laughs> well, why did you say one dollar? Why did you say worth, one? Dollar? That was worth every penny. Because, <laughs> because all these machines, they, they all say a dollar. Yeah, they all say a dollar, but but you got to put five credits to get any real chance of getting all these other things. So. Oh, I see. So there are no more yeah. credits available. Oh, um, well, you know. You lost. So if. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, dear. I had a chance of winning here. You know. Could have uh, got a small latte at Starbucks for that. Yeah. <laughs> I, pull, I, I pulled a thousand bucks out of a machine at the MGM uh, two nights ago. So that was kind of cool. Really? Wow. Really? Yeah. 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 Uh, well, that happened. Uh, 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 and, they, they, they changed our gate. So we're just walking over to another gate. So I'm going to go back on mute. They changed your gate. Okay. Hey. Well, isn't isn't air travel wonderful? I mean, I remember when you looked forward to it. I remember when. Do you remember the times, Shecky? You're, I think you're old enough to remember this, where you got on a plane and people were dressed. Oh yeah, they wore suits and ties. Gloves. Yeah. Well, they used to wear that at the theater. Remember yeah. those days? Yeah. yeah. Now they wear sandals without socks. <laughs> <laughs> now, now, now they try and open the door on the plane and you, know, you hear about that crazy person oh yeah, yeah. yeah. man i mean it was where from where was it going to dc i think yeah well it's like delta is trying to stop a no fly start a no fly rule for any airline where you have caused a disturbance good and people are fighting them over it 
Well, no, actually, it's not a no-fly thing for just you, for that airline. It's all No, airlines. for every airline. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. And frankly, that's Good. the way it should be. Absolutely. 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 Somebody, somebody starts a fight on a plane and they shouldn't be penalized for it? Plus, I mean, these are airlines. They can make any rule they want to. You know, they can keep anybody off a flight if they feel that they're, you know. Uh, you do realize it's physically impossible to open a door at altitude because of the pressure difference. Well, yeah, that's true. Yeah. But nevertheless, the fact that they try and people have to yeah. wrestle them to the ground, <laughs> and, you know, yes. and they have to tie them to their seat with bungee cords and things like that. I mean, I don't understand how, again, in a civilized world, this happens. Oh. Well, let me explain it this way, Shecky. We don't live in a civilized right. world. No. Nope. Okay. If we did, okay, we wouldn't I'll have give you that. Right. Yeah. Right. Same uh, way with road rage. Yeah. Airplane well, rage. Road yeah. rage. Yes. Exactly. I don't. Yeah, he got shot it. his own window out because he was mad at this other driver. Well, did he, you see like he shot Angeles his own window out? Wide? Yeah, he didn't bother to lower the window. He just shot right through the glass. <laughs> no, L.A. had a riot downtown last night because the Rams won. Huh? That's That always happens, though, and I never could yeah. understand that. Why is it the town that wins always has a riot and tears their town down? Because yeah. they're so happy they won? Yeah. <laughs> I don't understand it. Meanwhile, the Rams went back to where? Where are the Rams from? Los Angeles. Los Angeles. They keep changing. Well, that's where the teams. that's where the game was. Yeah. yeah. They keep changing where these teams are now. Uh, the well, Bacu- they, they, know. Was, they were Minneapolis forty years or fifty years ago. Yeah. 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 But I don't understand. Oh, our team won. Let's go trash town. Yeah. <laughs> and burn the city. Is that because you're happy? Is that what the implication? I have no, and it wasn't like they were like wrecking stores to steal TV sets. I would suspect. I would suspect alcohol is involved. <laughs> yeah, it's like some guy is jumping on a bus and trashing the bus. Yeah. By the uh, way, shouldn't alcohol be made illegal at uh, uh, Super Bowl parties? Because they say the most wife beating that goes on yeah. is during the Super Bowl. Really? Yes. High incidence of wife beating. Husband's getting drunk, getting pissed. Da, 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 ba, 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 before my he... team lost. Are yeah. you guys going? Len's going. Girlfriend. I think Len's you... going. Okay. Bye. Bye. No, 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 no. I was beating my wife. <laughs> oh, oh, I see. Yeah. <laughs> take it back. Take it back. Take it back. <laughs> I mean, I don't understand that. <laughs> Barbara? Barbara? She can't hear you. Did she have a good? Did she have a good time in? Uh, did you have a good time in Vegas? What'd you do in Vegas? Good time in Vegas. Yes. Did you see any shows or? Weekend away. How about how about shows? Do they they have shows now? Oh God, yeah, there's a million shows. Well, what did you see? see What did you go see? She went to see Jim Brickman. He's a pianist. A new age pianist. Oh, good, good. Are my friends Penn and Tellers doing their show currently at the? Uh, they are. They over are. there at the Rio. Yeah. They are. I went by. I went by and told Penn, "Fuck you." They've been there. <laughs> they've been there about at least twenty years, yeah, not 20 more. Years so. Easy, yeah. 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 Long well, residency. Long residency. Good for them. Yeah. Good yeah. for them. Really good for them. Uh, so anyway, Mandy, any any important things? Any any thing you're looking forward to this week? Not really. I've been. I was trying to interject some thoughts, but now we've moved on to subject. I don't know if you guys couldn't hear. Me. But, but you, 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 you kind of like when everybody else is talking, you mute. What you should do is later on just check your Zoom and make sure it doesn't. Um, um, uh, what, what's the word? It doesn't mute you or. Bring the audio down when other audio is up. Gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. Uh, but what yeah, was I was going to point out that Brian posted on Facebook. He's not on this call today. He pro- posted on Facebook that he lost out because of the square he had <laughs> on his Super Bowl gambling that 
he lost out a lot of money just because of that one point. That extra. Right. Right. And if you have a problem, we have a number for you. Does it say that? Oh, wait a minute. Here it is. Yeah, yeah, because the guy that. fumbled the, the, the snap. Yeah. For the extra yeah. point, oh, yeah. that made the yeah. difference. He would have hit the. I, all I ball. all I see on here is my mom. Is Tony is Tony writes us. My mom loved that machine. <laughs> uh, play Wheel of Fortune machine. That's his other. No, no, no. I was saying that Brian's. He had a Facebook post. Oh, okay. Uh, he had a Facebook post that that one fumble cost like made the score different in his square. I don't understand yeah. what the square is. Don't it's well, the, you get, you the get ending number on of the score. top and the bottom. Man. Yeah. Whatever one row the score has might the, be. The winning score and one has the losing score. And you got to pick the last number in the score. Yeah. And instead of it being 3-0, it would have been 4-0. And he would have won like $12,000. Right. But hmm. because he fumbled that snap and they missed that extra point, it was the numbers were 3-0. And he got nothing. Yeah. Right. Brian, if you have a gambling problem, we have a number for you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> one eight hundred. One eight hundred. You're fucked. <laughs> yeah, one eight hundred. You're fucked. Right. <laughs> well, it's time to go. Boy, oh, no. this has been fun. And happy Valentine's Day, everybody. Happy Valentine's, happy Valentine's, Valentine's Day. Day. Yeah. yeah. Happy, happy Valentine's Tony, Day to Marjorie. Um, and thank you. Know, you. Day. And what, uh, what? I said, happy phony day, Valentine. Oh, no. <laughs> well, it wasn't invented by the credit, by the, uh, yeah. uh, by the flower. Uh, no, by yeah. the coward, by the card companies. Yeah. Card companies. Card company. Yeah. 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 All Mark and all that. Yeah. 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 And, yeah. And, we got Mother's Day and Father's Day to look forward to now. Yeah. Well, Mother's Day was the thing they originally invented, and then they added Father's Day because they figured it was another day to make money. Yeah. yeah. And yeah, Easter in between. Yeah. Yeah. So, and anyway, a thank you to uh, thank you to Scott Boddicker. Always good to have you here, Scott. Charlie Wallace, Rick Sheckman, Steve Bender, of course, Mandy O'Brien, Len, Marjorie Miller, and now Edward Berger who will sign us off. That's all, <laughs> folks. Okay. <laughs> Everybody, thank you for being here. I appreciate it. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye.